I don't know about you, but do you sometimes see images or things in rocks? When I look at this big rock every time I come onto the farm, I always think of the shark in Finding Nemo. So if you look at this rock, I don't know, maybe it's just this like little crack that goes there that looks like the shark's mouth. To me it looks like the head of a shark. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Goodness, so Hazel is having some stew for dinner. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Is this good, as good as the Irish stews back home? Yep, most definitely. South African stew with an Irish twist. That's it. Yeah. So this morning I'm about to start uh, grouting. I have like the spready thing, the grout mixture, which you see you don't want it too runny. I've got water for the sponge, cushion for my knees, and I'm going to make a start. The floor is looking good, ready for grouting. And this wall and this back wall over there, these two walls have been sprayed with the, the PVA water mixture. So it doesn't give off any dust anymore. And it looks absolutely awesome. And Julian is working frantically with a paintbrush because we bought, well, I bought one of those pressure sprayer things, a cheap one from Max Matt. How long did it last, you say? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It lasted 20 minutes, so I guess I'm gonna have to take it back. But look how nice it looks sprayed. You can see the difference between that wall and this one. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore Why you're Voices drowning in the sea. There's too many voices talking back at me. There are a lot of choices waiting to be made. Too many choices making me afraid.
So this is what I have done today. Um, I think I've probably done about half, if not a little bit more than half of the floor. Um, the grouting, my fingers are um, from the water. I don't know, it's like little holes in the tips of my fingers. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, maybe I must wear gloves next time. But uh, I'll carry on with tomorrow. But yeah, my hands are looking like alien hands at the moment. But I'm very pleased with how it's coming out. So um, once I'm finished the grouting, I will wash the floor to get rid of the hazing. That's what it's called when you have this leftover bits from the grouting. Oh, kitchen is a mess again. Um, we've slowly been bringing tools back that we've been using and because we're still using them we haven't put them back in the shed so this weekend we're going to have to um, well I'm going to have to repack the shed get everything sorted there because hopefully next week this floor will get um, it'll be a concrete floor what are you doing Tandy? hmm? What are you doing? Where are you running off to? Seriously, look at my hands. This is from squeezing out the um, sponge. Um, from doing the grouting and squeezing out the water from the sponge. Um, yeah, I've got like little piercings in my fingers. Mm, hands have looked a bit better. Definitely destroyed these biometric fingerprints. So we're going to um, mop this part of the floor now that these rocks have been washed down over here. We've got the fire on in there to give some heat and the walls have all had two coats of the PVA water mixture, which is 10 to 1, 10 parts water to 1 part PVA. And you can see the huge difference that it, what it looks like now. I'm honestly, it's just so beautiful. I can't believe this is mine. This is gorgeous. And this bench, once I have um, sort of put in some cement in between, just to sort of level it and put cushions on, that will be great. Oh, really an icy, icy, icy cold wind and there's rain forecast, so hopefully it'll fill up my rain water harvesting system. Pigs are waiting for their food. Oh, but Icebine is always the first there. Andy, are you my assistant? You coming to help feed the pigs? Hmm? You coming to help feed the pigs? Right. Where are these pigs? Where are these pigs? The assistant is leading the way. Carrying a stick. I don't think the pigs need any more sticks. Yes, I don't think they need any more sticks. Piggies! Piggy piggies! Are you all ready? It's nice and cold. You better sleep nice and warm tonight, hey? All of you? Right, it's coming. It's hard to believe that little Mallow Puff and Tim Tam and Albert Icebine could all fit through this little square when they got here. To be sure, it was a tight squeeze for Albert Icebine and Tim Tam sort of really had to wriggle her way through. But Mallow Puff, who was the runt of her litter, she just 
she could just walk through this like it was an open door but she didn't want to leave Tim Tam. So Tim Tam is definitely the more dominant of the two. They're from the same litter. Uh, Tim Tam was the fattest, strongest one in the litter and Malapuff over here was the runt. She was actually quite tiny. It's really, just look at her now and it's like, yeah. How oh, she could just fit through the fence. But she didn't escape because it was a bit of a tight squeeze for Tim Tam. Tim Tam only did it uh, twice and then didn't want to escape after that. I love the way they always try and block each other from getting to the food. They like run around all the time. Every now and then, Oreo usually sort of like head butts them out the way, just gives them a little shove. Sometimes they go flying. That's why I try and spread it out so they all get some food. Picking some oranges to make marmalade again. The marmalade was so delicious last year that I can make some more this year. Well, we have a sweeper over there. And a mop lady over here. <laughs> but look how good the floor looks now that it's clean. We might have to, well, when I'm, when I'm finished with that, we will definitely have to um, run the mop over again because the hay, it's called hazing, as I said That's to you. Right. That'll come through again. But man, it's really looking. But the walls are looking lovely, aren't they? Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. It doesn't really rock. It's not really, is it? Well, that's it. It does depend on how level everything is. Yeah, that's and okay. That's the thing, is it won't necessarily rock, but it will be slightly down to one. Point. Yeah, it's okay. It's um, fine. Yeah. It's okay so, when we put the. Um, so we'll just put the one mattress uh, on. It can make a lot of difference when you're sleeping. <laughs> Well, if I, if I don't set it up to the left, I'm comfortable. I wake up somewhere or another. See, for me, that's already like high enough. Yeah, it is. And <laughs> it is high enough. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is Crazel lovely. Hazel. This is lovely. Well, you can sleep on it tonight, Hazel. <laughs> it is really nice. You can sleep nicely in front of the fire. And then you want the other one just out here? I think we just put the other one there so long. Right. And then it's sort of out of the way. See where we are. Oh, we can just put it there so long. It's yep. out of the way. And it stops the draft coming in from there. Well, here, do you want this table? Yeah, 
Oh, I mean, Louise, Louise used that table as a um, headboard. I was just going to say, actually, it's probably a better way. All I'm thinking is if it's leaning over that way, it'll fall on the fire, yeah, right. fire, yeah. yeah. Whereas. It's just a little bit over. Then mm -hmm. kind of hold it in place or bring it right. Back. Bring it right over so it isn't over the window, but then it does act more as kind of the. Well, you mean bring the bed over that way? Or yeah, we could bring the bed more. Oh, over the bed now. Right. So we've moved the. It we've moved the bed. There. So Most now can grant the rest of the room. Over. It's a beautiful day on the farm today. Beautiful winter's day. Slight breeze this morning, but not too much. And when you're in the sun, it actually warms up quite nicely. This past week has been a very busy one. I've done two workshops and a school visit to a school with five in a five hour different time zone. So, and that's in the past seven days. So it's been, well, actually the past eight days, I suppose one can say. It's been very, very busy. Eight, I'm just trying to think now, nine days. Okay, the past two weeks, let's just leave it at that. But we've managed to get a lot of work done, as you've seen, with uh, Julian's um, help and Hazel and her input. And I've completed the pointing, which is a huge relief. Right, ready to finish the grouting today. I've put plasters on all my fingers on all the saws from the last time. And I've got a nice pair of plastic gloves. So hopefully I am going to be prepared.
Okay, it's quarter to six at night. I've just finished the grouting. Uh, it's already almost dark outside. So I am happy I'll come and uh, mop this floor tomorrow. But grouting is done. Hey, Tandy, hey, don't walk on my grouted floor. Right, as you can see, it is really dark and I need to go and feed the pigs. They're probably wondering why they haven't eaten yet. So if you've enjoyed this week's video, please hit the like button by giving me a thumbs up. Comment below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It all helps my channel to grow. And in the meantime, keep safe, keep sane, and I'll see you on the next video.